Is this limited edition EDC flashlight worth the carry? Let's find out. The flashlight in question is the Olight i5T EOS in a limited edition starlight colorway, which looks absolutely stunning. So just look at that gorgeous silver and blue speckled pattern for the Stardust colorway. Isn't that beautiful? Alongside the flashlight itself in the box, you will receive a small readme to enable the batteries for the first time, as well as a set of instructions, which are instructing us to subscribe so you don't miss our next review. This flashlight features two output modes, the first of which is a 15 lumen output which can last up to 20 hours, and the second is 300 lumens which we'll get to shortly. This flashlight is also completely watertight, so if we unscrew the battery compartment you'll notice that there's a little rubber gasket above the thread here, and that stops this from getting any water inside the battery compartment. The battery type that it takes is just a single AA battery, which is quite astounding given the massive power output of this little torch. Now what really makes this flashlight great for everyday carry is this amazing pocket clip, which you'll see is blue over here. Now I do have a little lanyarded bead attached to mine. The pocket clip is removable as well if you ever wanted to just carry this in your pocket without. However, it is also reversible. So take a look at this. You can use the pocket clip as normal, but you'll notice that it has a front flap as well, which makes it absolutely perfect to mount on to a baseball cap. And now all of a sudden, you've got yourself a little head mounted flashlight, which is a really cool feature to have. Now we've already talked about the 15 lumen mode, which is good for most of your standard activities, but I'm now about to show you the most powerful 300 lumen mode that this thing can output. So just before we do guys, make sure you've liked the video and subscribed so you don't miss our next review. Okay guys, here it is. We're gonna shut the front light off. So to access the 300 lumen mode, very shortly after the 15 lumen mode, you quickly reactivate it and look at the difference in power. This is 300 lumens and it's absolutely destroying that subscribe button, which you should too. So unlike the standard 15 lumen mode, which can last 20 hours, the 300 lumen mode lasts for three minutes on the maximum power before it will automatically drop down to 150 lumens to save battery. And that will last for 25 minutes before it will step down one more time, lasting for a further two hours at 30 lumens. So guys, I can't guarantee that there's any more of this epic Stardust colorway left, but I'm leaving a link to the i5T EOS in the description below. So guys, back to the original question. Is the i5T EOS worth carrying as part of your everyday carry? Given the immense number of features this has and the insanely capable pocket clip, the really bright capacity at 300 lumens, as well as being waterproof and only needing one AA battery, I think this one's a no-brainer which is why it does indeed have a spot in my everyday carry. And guys, I just know there's other stuff in this EDC pouch that you're gonna be interested in, which is why I'm leaving you with a link to the EDC playlist here on screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.